It was May of 1932. It's a spectacle unparalleled in the history of the country. And something was very wrong in the land of plenty. A day of bloodshed and riot. There were those of us who felt that America was teetering on the brink of revolution. For three years, the Great Depression had tormented Americans. Now, 20,000 Army veterans and their families came pouring into Washington to find out what the government was going to do about it. They were bearded. They were ragged. They were desperate. You could see it in their eyes. They'd been promised a bonus for their service in World War I, but it was not due to be paid until 1945. The desperate veterans wanted their money now. They were called the Bonus Army. On July 28th, the Bonus Army came to blows with Washington police. Shots were fired. President Herbert Hoover barricaded himself in the White House and called out the troops. The soldiers have orders to burn down the unsanitary and illegal camp. And the roaring flames sound the death knell to the fantastic Bonus Army. When the smoke cleared, two veterans and an infant were dead. It was absolutely shameful. The sacrifice of the young American boys left such an impression on me, I have never forgotten it. They were just trying to feed their families. Millions of Americans could no longer provide for their families. With nowhere to turn for help, they were angry and they were approaching their breaking point. Three years into the Depression, the American system was in grave danger. Unless it could change, and change quickly, it might not survive. <laughs>